tonight's game as the Padres fall 5-2 to two to the Cincinnati Reds. Sam Levitt back with you inside the loft here at the Western Metal Building at Petco Park as we wrap this one up on our post-game coverage. And we'll dive a little bit deeper into what Mike Schultz had to say there and uh, about Nick Lodolo's performance and the fact that the Padres just had no answer for Lodolo uh, throughout his outing after the first inning and the 23 in a row retired and all of it, all the things we've talked about already uh, in the opening segment and here in this segment. I do want to touch on the, the, the second to last question, I believe, there uh, about the struggles at home. The Padres are now 6-12 and at home to begin this season. I believe... I believe they've won one night game here so far, which is hard to believe when April is almost over. But forget about the night game part of it. Let's just focus on 6-12. and 12. That is and continues to be, for me, one of the really, really frustrating, concerning aspects of the last couple of seasons. And this is going back to 23 because... The fans have been unbelievable, and I'm not saying that just because I'm sitting here at Petco Park and there are Padres fans listening. They have been. If you're here, you can see it. The place is mostly packed every night. There were 39,000-plus in the building on a Monday night. The place was sold out yesterday, 42,000-plus. The place was sold out on Saturday, 43,000-plus. We're not at the end of April. There have already been nine sellouts And the other crowds, if they're not sold out, they're pretty darn close. This team must start, A, playing better at home, and B, rewarding these fans more. Because, I mean, tonight, from the the second until there were two outs in the ninth inning, I mean, there wasn't a lot to cheer about, and it wasn't very fun to watch. So this team, wherever they got to get it from inside, you know, in their soul, they got to start playing better at home. I mean, it is just, it is not rewarding these fans. It's just not. And I know that has, you know, nothing to do with actually what happened on the field tonight. But I continue to sit here and be amazed by the fan support and credit to the Padres fans. But this has been something now that's been a problem for, for two seasons. And it's continued into this year where there are just nights where this place is packed and the fans are doing a great job. They're doing their part. And it, it just does not it, it does not happen on the field. So they must start playing better at home. Six and twelve. I mean, and again, to be quite frank, if, if they want to be a postseason team, they gotta start playing better at home. To rack up wins. This should be a place where it's a home field advantage, where they should win a lot. Okay, and I know the fans have nothing to do with hitting a ninety six mile an hour fastball. I get it. But that continues to be, I'm just, I, I want to focus on that part just for a second. That continues to be one of the real, I think, frustrations about the last couple of seasons. And this one to this point, maybe it'll turn around. I hope it does. But the fans deserve more. They do. And uh, we'll see if they can start turning it around here at home. 6-12 and 12 at home. And I believe one night game they've won here at home, which is hard to believe. So... Uh, we'll see. We'll continue to break this one down and uh, continue to uh, uh, continue to uh, bring you our post-game coverage here on the Padres Radio Network. And there was certainly more to chew on there from Mike Schilt, his uh, post-game comments after this one. Again, the final score, Reds 5, Padres 2. More after this on the Padres Radio Network.